Hey guys, this is Shabir yeah. Dalish. I'm sitting here with Naker of the band. Naker. Naker. Hi. <laughs> Hi everyone. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, it's great to have you. So uh, that is that is an interesting background you have there. Where where are you? And what 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 are these? Oh, it's um, it's uh, my bookshop. Uh, my family have a bookshop, and we all work in this uh, uh, in this business. Ah, cool. So uh, I I sell I sell a book uh, through Amazon. Ah, okay. Well, that's, that's cool. Booksellers always, uh, yeah, uh, quite the smart ones. Uh, not in my case. <laughs> I sell book. <laughs> Big book. <laughs> no, I think uh, that uh, it's 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 always good that the first thing you know about a person is that he can read actually, and that he has read a few books in his life. That is that is always a good start. <laughs> yeah, uh, as I already said, uh, not in my case, but yeah, I think it's uh, it's good what you what you say. <laughs> so uh, you. Uh, yesterday was the uh, release day for your for your yeah. records. Was uh, actually was uh, um, Friday, but yesterday we have a party in uh, San Marino. Uh, it's a small small country inside Italy, and uh, we have a release party here. It was very cool. Lot of people, lot of uh, selling. So that is, that is good. That is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. So, so why is uh, your new record called slower? Because uh, I wanted something uh, that sounds slower. <laughs> because I love when when uh, bands or music go slow down and but uh, but uh, but music maintain his uh, his brutality i i i don't know what i can, um how, i don't know how i can say it but i love i, I, I get it i get it you you mean music to say slow down and and, and break your bones <laughs> So, so you, uh, you you mean you you like it if uh, something is very slow and very brutal at the same time? Yeah, yeah, but I I don't think is not mm, the case of my my new record because I think it's more uh, I don't know something like um, something like. A, a dream or uh, something like this is not uh, something really uh, pre precise uh, and uh, I'm sorry I don't I don't I don't find a good word to, to say it but uh, I think it's just uh, something slower in in and not um, what I said, but I love it anyway when bands go slow and and do something like this. But in my case, it's something more, uh, you know, like a dream, I think. So there's a song named uh, Nosferatu. Yeah. What is, what from, is this about? From, uh, uh, it's a tribute to Werner Herzog, and uh, it's um, a, a director that I that I love, and Nosferatu especially, and uh, it's one of my favorite movie of all the time, and uh, I love Klaus Kinski in the in this. I'm sorry for for my uh, for my pronounce. Uh, no, that was perfect. Actually, I, really. I love 
I love uh, that movie very much, and so is this. This this is my tribute to Werner Herzog. Ah, yeah, Her Herzog and Kinski had this love-hate relationship. So, uh, sorry, Kinski. Uh, Kins Kinski and, and Herzog had this uh, this love and hate relationship. They they could not live without each other, but they really hated each other. On top of that. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think it is the, the same, the same condition that we live in a band. <laughs> <laughs> as, as long as uh, you, you produce proper art and everything is, uh, as, as you, uh, yeah, envisioned it and, and uh, thought it out and uh, thought, okay, I want to do it like that, and even if there's a lot of stress, in the meantime. In, in the the um, fuck, what's the word like? Ergebnis. <laughs> I always have to Google English words. Uh, the outcome. The outcome. If the outcome of your work is still is uh, exactly what you wanted it to be, uh, it's 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 okay to yeah. to have a little fight over that. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I think uh, everyone have a, a little fight when. We, when you have to relationship with the other other mind uh, in my case uh, i i think we uh, with my musician we have sometimes a little fight but i know because they care about my project so i'm happy to have this little fight with with they and um finally the the result it's I'm very proud of the result. So uh, every fight was was for a reason. That sounds really uh, yeah uh, organic, like uh, yeah, like a, like a natural thing to happen in a relationship as a musician. Yeah. So so that that's uh, that's good. Um, you you have quite a, a special cover uh, for slower. It's it's a portrait of you. Why did you choose to to have a portrait of yourself uh, for the cover of your for uh, your record? Uh, this uh, this originally was an idea from uh, uh, my guitarist Alessandro and uh, uh, my management Mark Mark and they they told me you have to use your face. Because uh, you are very, I don't know, uh, very unique, and uh, uh, you have to use your face to your cover. And I was like, okay, I maybe uh, if I have to choose alone, maybe I have choose an an animal or something like this but we had a lot of um, a lot of work before uh, the cover you see now and anytime we have to, to change because there was always a something there's not work and finally we get the, the cover you see now I hope uh, it, it, it's working. I think so. It looks uh, pretty dark, and uh, yeah, because it's a portrait, is it, it's kind kind of uh, intimate. It's like uh, it's it, it pulls the watcher closer to 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 you as an artist, because it's not just like a tree or a monster or a dragon or something. It's it's a face of the musician you are going to listen to okay <laughs> yeah uh, yeah maybe you are right i i think the, the work is well done yeah i think it's a, it's a pretty good photo and uh, the background uh, fits into the the overall uh, artwork so so that's a nice one so uh, yeah, how uh, has 
Corona uh, affected you as a as a musician and as a human being in the last uh, yeah year and a half? Yeah, actually, uh, in Italy, the situation for artists and musician uh, was was fucked up before the <laughs> the coronavirus, and so actually not too much is changed and uh, now we start to 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 play again and then then we see i i just try to not read newspaper to hear uh, tv news i i don't watch tv i just want to listen to music watch movies and uh, play music, stay with my girl, and that's it. Mm. I, I, I don't care too much about this. I know it's uh, uh, something epochal, but I'm, honestly, I don't really care. I hope to come back to uh, have a live tour again very soon and that's it so what you're saying is basically that uh, the music scene and the scene for for rock and metal uh, artists is not a good one in Italy no no because uh, uh, first first of all we don't have places for doing that kind of music and uh, and if we have uh, some places they don't want to pay you because they have this mentality that uh, they think you have to uh, you as a musician have to uh, bring people to the club but we are just musicians, we have to play well and that's it. We, I don't have to move people to your, uh, to your club, but this is my personal uh, opinion. And so so is, is this pay to play? Sorry, no, no, no pay to play. Oh, this is another cancer of music. I don't mean uh, pay to play, but... Uh, the the club the club don't want to pay you as a musician they just want to know how many people you can bring tonight uh, i just say i don't know i don't care I, it's it's your business this is your business my business is playing well and, and i will and uh, every time is the same old story in italy uh, but it's it's very sad because we have a lot of great artists and musicians and uh, so but we don't have uh, places and chance to to do something good yeah and you, you should just come to Germany, Germany. <laughs> oh I hope very soon I was in Germany for two gigs and I remember people was very friendly, the good vibration, very cool people. I, I have a lot of, I had a lot of uh, fun in Germany. I can't wait to come back. Yeah, German people just love music, I think, and we have a really big uh, and uh, yeah, striving metal scene. So uh, there's there's lots of venues uh, that, yeah, typically pay. Uh, the, the musicians to, to, to play there so uh, yeah I think yeah. that it would be quite nice for you and of course we, we would love to have you thank you so much I, I hope I, uh, to come back very soon so uh, back to Slower your new record that came out uh, on Friday um, I noticed that you are a fan of Twin Peaks of course, yes. <laughs> Laura Palmer's theme. 
I think is a dead giveaway for for being a fan for Twin Peaks. And uh, yeah, I, I watched I watched it uh, a few years ago in its entirety, and I I did not uh, view the the new episodes. But uh, yeah, I think it's it's well, really. Did you? I have to. It's very, 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 very. It's a masterpiece. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then I, I will. I will do it. You have to. You have to also watch uh, Firewalk with me before the new season. If ah, okay. I, 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 uh, I watched that too. The David Boy uh, stuff and all that. Yeah. And, uh, the origin story. And I think the, the only thing that really fucks up the new episodes is that. Uh, uh, yeah, the the evil the evil one from the uh, original series series the the actor is dead for like I don't know twenty five years or so. And, uh, uh, I I don't remember the Frank Silva. Yeah, Frank he Silva. he was he he was uh, he was not an actor. He he was on set because he was an operator and yeah, uh, electrician or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they thought, okay, you look fucking creepy. <laughs> <laughs> you got that role. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why I love uh, uh, David Lynch. He's crazy. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. But it's he, fucking crazy. He, he's yeah. genius. But I really, I really love his his role on on the on the show. The, the, the agent with the hearing. Right what? what? <laughs> that was really funny. Okay, so um, yeah, apart from from uh, the artwork and uh, of course I checked out the music. That is of course quite slow. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's described as uh, southern groove metal, but uh, I perceived it uh, that, that there was um, influences of of. Uh, yeah, stoner rock, 90s stoner rock a bit, and yeah, among other other stuff that is that is in there. It's a very um, yeah. I have to Google that word because I want to I want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Oh. Mind. Yeah, mu multifaceted. It's like it's very variable. Your, your music is very um, yeah. Yeah, rich in influences. It's like uh, it's, it starts uh, as as a stoner rock piece, and then it becomes really uh, yeah, quite doom metal, uh, uh, kind of doomy, so to say. And uh, yeah, it's it's really it's quite something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I. I, I just want to put all my uh, experience, all my uh, all I have done in my life. I, I want to put it in my music, and uh, I mean uh, in my life as a musician because I played in a lot of uh, bands such as metalcore band, uh, post hardcore band, emo band, and. Uh, I think that they influence. They still influence me. Yeah, the, the most. Uh, no, not not most. Okay, but but there's quite some uh, some musicians to. They, they say ah, when I'm composing, I don't want to listen to 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 music of uh, other artists because I don't want to get uh, too much influences from from uh, from foreign people into yeah. into my my brain. <laughs> That's why uh, the album uh, sound the same from the first track and, uh, till the last track. I don't want to do something like this. I want every uh, songs with a story. I I want the people. I want to people when listen to my music. They they was like like in a. Um, in a tornado, I don't know, like in a uh, tempesta, come si dice? Yeah, I, that's tempesta, storm. A storm, storm, like in a storm of, of emotion and styles. And I, I love to work in this way. 
I I don't want to uh, to do the same song uh, ten times. I don't know if you understand me. So you uh, you expect uh, of your audience that they that they uh, yeah understand your work and that they can <laughs> bear to uh, be yeah um, like what's the word of that um fuck <laughs> don't worry man it's, it's like when when you when you throw your, your your whole influences at your audience it's like like here and there is stona and here's doom and here's uh, i don't know uh, iron maiden and it's like yeah, uh, in, 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 in a tornado i don't have i don't i um I don't am a fan of uh, genre. I'm a fan of a band because I like Pantera. I like Typo Negative. I like uh, I don't know. I like Sleep. I like Om, but I don't like the other band that play this kind of music because I love this band because they uh, play that music in uh, perfectly i don't know if you understand me what i mean uh, yes of course i uh, i think they are there are bands that just play a kind of music and band that invented a kind of music and i prefer to listen band that invented that kind of music. Of course, there are uh, nothing wrong to do uh, a genre that uh, uh, already exists, and there are a lot of bands that play well uh, a kind of music, but I, I don't like to, to work in this way, but there's nothing wrong to this. One moment. Uh... So uh, you rather listen to the Fonte? Uh, sorry. So you rather uh, listen to the to the source, uh, the, the the Fonte? Fonte? I I don't know what. I, tr I tried to, I tried to Google the word in it, it in uh, for uh, to to say it in it Italian, uh, but I think it's it's, okay, it's not the, not an Italian yeah. word. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, fonte. Fonte is mean uh, uh, like the, the the start of the water. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. It's uh, the, yeah, the yeah. origin of the, of the of the music. So, so uh, if you very sometimes I love more the um, history behind the music than the music. For example, I very love the attitude and the. Uh, lifestyle behind the uh, hardcore uh, 80s hardcore american hardcore uh, but i don't like too much the music I, i there are bands that i love but i'm not a fan of uh, arc, uh, 80s hardcore uh, of a uh, music but i very love the attitude i very yeah. love the behind the music I, I get that. I, I really love the, the look and the image of 80s glam. Bands yeah. like Guns N' Roses, you know, they, they looked so so cool and uh, kind of fabulous. And it was the big hair days and, and the clothing uh, they, they wore. It was all really cool and uh, looked really cool. And uh, But if I listen to the music, it's... Uh, It's pretty uh, pretty boring after a short period of time. It's like I hear, I'm listening to two songs in a row, and then it's it's like uh, yeah. But now I need Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone needs Slayer sometimes. Yeah, that is right. But but many people don't know about that. <laughs> but uh, Slayer is the perfect example of what I said before. Because Slayer, they play Slayer, and but uh, uh, there are no one 
in the planet that play Slayer like Slayer. So you don't, you can't play Slayer. Just Slayer can. And uh, I love listen to Slayer because they they are always in the uh, what can I say in 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 the point. They always take the way perfectly. Yeah, it's like there's there's no not much uh, foreplay. Foreplay. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you, you know, like uh, when 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 attending to uh, to having sex, <laughs> it's like uh -huh. all, all all the stuff that comes before <laughs> the actual uh, thing. It's like yeah, kissing and stuff like that. And Slayer is not okay. Slayer is no music for people that like to kiss. It's it's more like okay, <laughs> let's do it. Oh. <laughs> They're just right. yeah, but but I, but I know uh, I think that everybody who's who's uh, together with their with their a better half and uh, play Slayer, every, you you know exactly what's up. <laughs> <laughs> It's not very romantic, so to say. <laughs> uh, no, not too much, but it's true. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, what, what, what will be the first thing uh, after this whole uh, Corona shit show is over? Uh, what, what will be the first thing that you and uh, your family will do? I'm sorry, the first thing? The yeah, the first thing you and your family uh, wants to do after uh, yeah, the pandemic is, is over. Uh, um, I don't know. Maybe they still continue. We we uh, we are Italian, so we love to eat, uh, and I think we we continue to eat uh, too much. We have people uh, when come in Italy. They uh, they say I don't know uh, you guys. Uh, how can you hit like this and don't be fat? And uh, so I think uh, we continue to hit. Be because hitting in Italy, it's like, uh, it, it, it's, not, it's not just heat. It, it's uh, sitting uh, with people that you love and You talk and you drink wine and you smoke cigarettes and uh, uh, and uh, and it's a big culture of food. We we have oh look I I bring this cheese I take it in a ah, okay cool and I take it's uh, but finally we always uh, we always leave the house. Totally drunk. Yeah, wine. <laughs> yeah, wine and good food. Yeah, so so it's it's rather a celebration than just uh, just taking a meal. Like yeah, a party. I think then more than a celebration, it's like uh, sitting uh, with people you care, you love. And with friends too, we love to uh, we love to meeting uh, uh, each other for um, for uh, dinner or for lunch, and but especially for drink. Yeah, yeah that's, that's that's part of the of the celebration. So uh, yeah, that sounds great. A uh, uh, good sit-in. <laughs> And we never stop to drink and uh, uh, and uh, heat. So I think when the pandemic is over, we continue to drink and eat. <laughs> yeah, that that sounds great. So uh, yeah, do you have any uh, material for uh, for the next record already? Yes, I have, and uh, I, but. I have to work too uh, because I uh, I don't know I don't know how 
how it works. Uh, because uh, the first album was more impulsive because we have the need to uh, to release something to audience and then now slower was more uh, ponderate and more uh, more slower <laughs> And now I have to think about the next work. But I already have some materials, but I can work with materials in different ways. So I have to choose uh, the, the way to work. Yeah, I got a few ideas for, 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 uh, for title. Harder or, or, or faster? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yes, of course we uh, we talk about it, but I don't know. But I have in my head uh, uh, like idea of a trilogy of uh, of darkness. I don't know a trilogy of maybe we can choose a name of this trilogy after the third record. Yeah, that will be uh, yeah quite thrilling to uh, to learn what the name of the third release will be. Yeah, sorry, man. I I don't understand. The sorry. I, I I'm I'm thrilled to to learn uh, what the name of the third entry of uh, the trilogy will be, because you have uh, louder and you have slower, and now everyone is uh, on the edge of the seat and wants to know. Oh, what will be the, the, the third title? So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Me too, because I I have a lot of ideas. Uh, but I'm focused to, to three uh, possible names. But for now, Slower <laughs> is out. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so uh, yeah, you you heard you heard it, you heard him, heard me. Um, slower is out now, and uh, time to kill records is a place to buy this. So yeah, yes. go check it out and uh, yeah, buy this. <laughs> so you. I have no more questions to ask, Nika, and uh, yeah, thank you very much for taking the time uh, and. Uh, thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure for me too. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, off to eating. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Thank Have you a so nice evening. Goodbye. <laughs> bye bye.